Hey everyone, I'm Charlotte Worthington, BMX Freestyle Park Olympic gold medalist and today I'm at the Asylum Skate Park here in Mansfield, England uh, and I'm here today to build my brand new Hyper Snafu BMX bike and I'm so excited and I'm so grateful that those guys are my sponsors. They're the best parts in the BMX Freestyle game and in BMX racing too. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go inside because it is raining, classic England, even though it's summer. Um, and we're going to see Tom Justice, who is helping us out building the bike today. So let's go. Welcome. This is the Asylum Skate Park. I love it here. Got a resi section, foam, mini boxes. And over the other side of this half pipe is a whole bowl section with infinite lines. And speaking of the lines in this place, one man that knows every single line in this skate park is the one and only Thomas Justice. Got an intro there. <laughs> no messing about. So this is Tom Justice. Uh, he's already been an absolute legend in helping us with the bike build and setting up these wheels, which if I care to demonstrate. Unreal. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get on with the bike build. Got all the parts. As you can see, the fender, we're going chrome. So I'm going all chrome, with blue hubs, blue grips, a little bit of black, um, and I'm really excited. So yeah, let's get on with the parts. Here we go. So I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the parts that we're going to use before we put it all together. Um, the frame is one that I've been sticking to since I started riding for Hyper the last couple of years, which is the Logan Martin Indie Signature Frame. Uh, it's a perfect fit for me. It's high enough to give me stability, short enough to be pretty whippy and nippy, awesome on the weight category. Uh, yeah, that's the frame. I've also got the forks, the magical forks in chrome, pretty much everything is chrome. And then all the small pieces are snafu. Sprocket, Mayweather cranks, awesome. Anorexic pedals. Such good pedals, beautiful as well. And of course, moving on to the wheels, we've got alienation rims, uh, crucial titanium spokes, profile hubs. And this has got a titanium driver in it also. So these are the back wheel is going to be a little bit lighter than my old one. Front wheel is going to be pretty similar. Um, so the back end on this bike will be a little bit lighter. I'll feel the difference on that, but. To me, light is pretty much always a good thing. Um, I think I'm going to be really happy with how this bike comes together. So we're going to start with the forks and the headset and then take it from there. setup much like my previous setup I'm gonna run titanium bolts so shout out to TLC who has a really good deal on tie bolts um, one little hack with these they come with copper grease um, and that stops them seizing up so I'm gonna grease up with copper grease put them in the stem and I got them on the wheels too <laughs> majority of the bike together, kind of the easy stuff, um, and this is where I hand over to uh, the wonderful Tom, who's a lot more experienced than me at putting brakes and the chain on, because they're pretty much finishing touches. So Tom's going to bosh it out, and then we'll tighten it all up, and it's going to be done. <laughs> It is 
99% Hyper Snafu. Wow, I just, I just want to thank everyone that helped make this possible, especially Tom behind the counter. He's uh, been an absolute legend and helped us so much through this process. And I've learned a lot today about setting up brakes. What better thing to do now than to ride it? So I'm going to go pad up, get changed, and give a shot on it. session around the asylum skate park thanks again for watching me build my brand new hyper snafu bmx bike i hope you enjoyed the video